Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be going over how to make icons of objects in your game so that you can, you know, have objects, icons of your objects. Uh, so let's get right into it. So guys, we are kind of branching out from Roblox stuff, but this kind of ties into game development. So right here, I just have an example, an axe. Okay, and this is in Photopea, by the way or photo P, however you want to call it. When you go up to select, remove background, it removes the background, but if we go up to select again and remove background, uh, we'll have to pay for it again. Uh, but I already tested it out, but it comes out with a better result, and you can add strokes to your icons to make them look better. Um, there's uh, quite a few other programs you can use to do this. Photo P is just one of them, so I'm going to be going over the process with you guys. Now, you guys don't have to go o overboard like I am, but in this place, I have it called Pet Icon Making. It's basically a place where there's no lighting influencing anything, so everything looks dull. Uh, I think that this is useful so that there's no lighting really influencing anything to make it look weird. So, I have nothing in the lighting, and these are my settings to make it bright. Um... This is basically like where I would make pet icons doing this type of stuff, but you can make any icons doing this. Again, this is optional if you want to make a custom place, no lighting, but uh, it's really, you don't have to make stuff that complicated. Okay, so basically I've inserted this firework into my game that I made at another time, but I'm just going to um, set some colors to it to make it look good. And basically I'm going to make an icon of this firework. I have the background set to this green. I also have it where you can change the backdrop color. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's some value somewhere, but maybe not. Uh, but I do have some other colors to go along with it, but I don't really know what these are. But anyways, hold on, let me look for those. Well, anyways, you can change the background of these colors, guys, if it helps the AI anymore, if you are using my method. But I'm just going to stick with the green. What I like to do is size up my object so it's pretty decently big. And you need to use snipping tool to get a snip of the object. So what you guys need to do is, from your search bar, you need to go to snipping tool. So just type in snipping tool in your search. Pop it up. Um, you would want to click new and get a snip of your object. I have it right here. You guys just can't see that. Let me, uh, there you guys go. You guys can see here. Here's my snip of the firework. And then I can toss that into whichever program I'd like and remove the background and try to make it look good. If this is what you guys want it to look like, you can rotate it and whatnot. But I'm just going to leave it like this. Now, there are a ton of programs to remove backgrounds like Photopea. Um, there's Remove Background, like an official website. There's Adobe something. Let me check. There's Adobe Express. So there's basically like four ones that I have just at hand. It's Photopea, RemoveBackground.com, Pixlr even has one, and uh, Adobe Express. Now, from using these programs, for me, it doesn't really matter. I just kind of choose whichever is easiest, but I don't think, like, for me, it doesn't make a difference, but we can see. Now, I'm just going to start in Photo P. Uh, I'm going to delete this. Well, I actually need to get, <laughs> you know, get my picture in. So, I found my firework snip, um, and I put it in the Photo P. Here it is. Now, th in this program, it's really simple. You just go to Select, Remove Background. And, well, <laughs> I can't use it because uh, I don't have premium and I've already used the amount of remove background slots, I guess. Bomb. But if you use that, then you can remove the background. Then what you guys can do is go right-click on your screenshot and go to blending options and uh, click stroke. And you can size up stuff here uh, how you would like. So there you guys go. Now, just to test, I'm going to be using removeBackground.com to actually uh, use my firework one. So this is another website you, you may want to use. Just go to removeBackground.com, and I'll try it out. Okay, so here is my firework after it is done with the Move Background. Looks pretty good. 
um, but now you can download it, which if you are not using Photopea or Photopea, I keep like switching it up, but you can click download and then put this new picture back into Photopea to add a outline onto that. So let's do it. So I have my new firework image in. There is no background. I'm going to select it and I'm, I'm just going to drag it up, uh, scale it up. So it looks something like this. Okay. I'm going to go to blending options again, add my stroke, click it. And I already have that setting set, but this is a nice icon of a firework. Again, you guys can do this with anything, you know, like pets and rotate it nice and stuff. And you can make icons like this. You don't just have to have a black icon. Like you can go to the, the color here and change it. If you want to have a darker red, because it kind of matches the firework style, you can do that. Uh, let me get a closer color. This color is going to have to do, but it still looks really good. Um, so this is a really simple way. Uh, you don't, if this is without blender and stuff, um, you just take a snip, put it into a uh, browser, I mean a website, and you can throw it back into another <laughs> uh, website and add cool effects to it. Uh, so very simple method. If you guys want to try out uh, Adobe Express, it's a little bit um, longer to get the picture out of Adobe Express, but you can use that too. There is uh, the other one I mentioned. I forgot it. Pixlr. Pixlr, I think I remember it being uh, pretty fast, but you guys can test out these different websites if the quality is any different. You guys can let me know uh, from what you guys have found, uh, but yeah. Okay, so I'm going to use one more example for you guys. This is a cat model that I modeled myself and everything. Um, so I'm just going to use it. Again, I'm, probably, I'm just going to scale it at a decent size. And I'm going to like position it. I do have a position already set in place. Um, it's, a, it's a part. See, right here is a pet position type thing. Um, so if I copy these values. Oh, here are my colors that I left, it's in the position, but if I change the position of this model, it'll go over here and change the orientation, then changes it, and I can focus my camera onto it and also like kind of change it to however you'd like. Let's say we wanted, I don't know, Maybe this is good for an icon of a cat. Uh, maybe that's good. Then I'm going to take a snip of this. Maybe I would want to include some tail. Uh, I'll figure it out. Okay, so here was my final uh, snip of the cat. So I'm pretty sure I can't do Photopea again. So I'm not sure what it said. Oh, never mind. Okay, I was able to do it this time. Um... But actually, it says to redo it if it wasn't that good. But actually, this looks really good. Like, there's no outline or anything. Um, so, now I have this. I don't even have to, like, put in another uh, website. So, I'm going to go to my stroke, add it, and there you guys go. It's really simple to have icons. But now, we need to actually get these in Roblox and how you can export and everything. So, I have my cat picture. Okay, my icon. You want to go to File, Export As, and I would recommend PNG. Just do PNG. <laughs> it's already in the dollar. Uh, but I'm going to have this name to Cat Icon. Change it to however you like. Set the quality to 100. Um, and click Save. Okay, guys. So how I got here was you click create when you're on the home Roblox screen. Go to creations or you go to you go to your dashboard, go to creations, development items, decals, and you're at this page. You want to insert your decal, so let me do that. There's my cat icon. Uh, it's already set the name to cat icon, and if you want to change the name, you can do that. If you want to set a description, you can do that, and then click upload. Again, guys, don't make icons of inappropriate stuff and put on Roblox. That's common sense, but please don't do that. It'll get you banned. You don't want to put some weird pictures up on Roblox and make weird icons. That's 
you know, just please don't do that. Don't get yourself in trouble by doing that. And uh, let's get this icon in our game. So it is being moderated at the moment, my icon. Um, but when you're done uploading it, you want to hover over your icon, click the three dots at the top right, and click Copy Asset ID. So then we have the asset ID, and we can put in Roblox. Okay, so now let's go to, well, I already have this screen UI. Oh, well, I already have this image, but screen UI, and then we it takes image labels. So we made a new image label. I'm going to set there, anchor point to 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Make it so it's scaled. Um, I'm going to set the background transparency to 1, and then in this image URL, put in your uh, code you just copied and your icon should be there that you made all right so I think everything is set pretty much this doesn't really matter because this isn't going in a game but I'm just going to insert a UI aspect ratio constraint and I'm going to scale it up and then there is our cat icon or whatever icon you made in Roblox and you can look on other devices and it looks all clear um, and it is a nice icon there you guys go and yeah guys that was today's video if you guys did learn something from this video or you guys just enjoyed this video please hit the like button and the subscribe button i'll see you guys in the next video peace